now let's talk about some analysis and design features which we have incorporated uh, in the new version of Comosis. Let me begin with um, seismic design options. So uh, normally seismic design is carried out either through the equivalent static method or through a proper dynamic analysis, which requires modal analysis or time history analysis. But um, a lot of times we are, the user is required to do an equivalent static analysis for multi-story uh, buildings. Now, in the new uh, version of Comasis we have introduced, if I go to the analysis and design and go to my load case uh, and go to the create edit load case and combinations, uh, over here, uh, you must have seen this dialog box before. We've got the load case ta tab, the load combo, response spectrum, etc. But if I go to the load case one, and uh, I can actually create a new load case, I can call it uh, earthquake in the x direction for example and i give i can give it the type of it's an earthquake load but uh, and of course other parameters might need to be entered but what i want to show right now is this auto static equivalent static load option uh, with which you can use we've got some uh, options available right now and we'll keep adding new uh, new uh, design standards to it so if i so you just choose the design stand the earthquake equivalent static de design uh, equivalent static load standard which you want to use and once you do that, you can uh, go, this parameters tab opens up, and you can connect on that. Click on that, and here you have all the parameters related to the equivalent static design according to that particular code. Uh, hey, for example, you can uh, uh, specify the direction, the floor diaphragm eccentricity, whether the elevation range should be uh, calculated automatically or user defined. The period calculation can be automatic or user defined. Uh, similarly, the number of floors can be automatically detected by the program or you can specify them. Then, of course, uh, these parameters are code specific, standard specific. Every standard will uh, have slightly different names and um, in, in interpreting ways of these uh, of these parameters. And here, for this particular standard, you can see that it, it asks for the short period uh, spectral acceleration SS, the one second spectral acceleration, the transition period, the solid class, etc. And uh, these, or usually all of these, basically end up with a certain uh, with the single parameter. But uh, every standard will have its own way of getting there. So what we are doing now is we are adding, uh, we we will be adding several more of these in the coming uh, in the coming versions. Uh, but it's going to be very easy once you have this uh, set up. You just say okay, and then this load case will automatically generate its own uh, equivalent static loads in whatever direction that you've asked it to. Now let's move on to a very important feature, a very important um, capability which we have uh, added to the Comosis version of 2023, and that has to do with the supported design standards. Now, as you know, uh, as our existing users will know, if you go to the design settings, we have the we had these options of the American AST, the American LRFT, the Eurocode 3, the TS. 648 and some new earthquake, some new Turkish codes. But now we have added this option of IS 800, which is the Indian steel code. And this is just a sneak peek into the future. They haven't been added now. But uh, at the moment, we have the IS 800 um, steel design standard, which is applicable in the Indian market. Now, obviously, this is not a video on. Uh, to teach how to do the do steel design in Comosis. There are other videos which uh, teach that. The purpose of this with video is basically to explain the new uh, design standard. So you will obviously be entering your building the way you normally do. You'll be entering your loads and your load combinations and uh, whatever needs to be done, and then you will run the model. And once you will run the model, you can then select either all of the elements or you can do a one-click design, as you know. You can select all of them and you can check uh, what, whether what their existing states are. So let me select this element over here and go uh, to the check selected option over here. We, like I said, you can select all of them and say uh, you can you know, can you cannot select any one. Just say check all. But let me just go and check the particular the selected one. And when I do that, immediately it does the design check of that beam, for example, according to uh, the Indian standard. Now, what I want to do is I want to see what the results are. So I can once again go to the same one or over here, in fact. It says design data. And if I press that, 
it will open up this uh, tab over here, which will show the summarized design data of that beam which we have selected. So it gives the name of the profile. It gives the name. It's, it gives the classification of the section. Over here, we have all the critical loads and which combo they occurred in. Uh, so it's, it will tell you that the location is 600 centimeters. This, this is the axial load. This is the M22. This is the M33. The shear loads the, in, in the second direction, the third direction, the torsion value. Similarly, the section properties are given over here. Uh, the other uh, geometric properties of the section are given over here. This is where the meat of the Indian, Indian code is. So you will see uh, the um, TD value, which is related to the Indian standards. This will all, of course, be given in these units, which you have at the bottom right of the, of the screen. The PD value, the MDY, MDZ, MNDY, uh, all, all the engineers who are designing according to the Indian standards will know what I'm talking about. MNDZ, KSI, KSI, L, LT, uh, the alpha 1, the alpha 2 values, these are all related, related to the buckling coefficients. PDY, PDZ, all these values are then used into the into the basic axial bending 22 and bending 33 components of the total design stress so this this is 0 0.607 which should be uh, less than 1 um, and so basically it's satisfying the condition similarly you have your shear checks over here in the two direction and your shear check in the third direction both of them are given over here you have the vd2 value the v critical value in the two direction the tau b2 value uh, is given over there and the, and the ratio um, the design ratio is 0.277 once again should be less than one similarly in the in the third direction we have very low shear values so the ratio is very small uh, if you want you can even get a um, deflection check so over here it is 1.135 less than 1.2 centimeters which is okay this is, uh, all these are details which you already know regarding how to do to, do to design obviously the deflection check has got nothing to do with the indian standards but this this part, this top part over here is what uh, I'm talking about. All your axial stresses, your bending 2-2 stresses and your bending 3-3 stresses all are summarized over here. And the variables which are used to compute these three numbers are summarized in this column over here. We are hoping this will be a great improvement for our clients in India. Uh, lots of them were requesting this feature that they wanted to do the steel design within Comosis and then continue with the detailing. Uh, so with this new version coming out now, uh, you, you have this ability to design with the IS 800 design standard.